welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision 2012 R2. This is Andrew Reby, and in this video I want to go over the new CAD features in Cabinet Vision. Let's go ahead and start this off by beginning a new job. Now that we have a job open, I want to open the preferences from within the job to show off some new options that will affect how we do CAD. The preferences that we want to look at are found on the Format tab. You should notice that there are a few more formatting options available with this version of Cabinet Vision. First, you can specify a time format. When you click on the drop down, you can select one of the predetermined time formats. Next, you can specify a dimension format. This allows you to select from a list of options how your dimensions will appear in Cabinet Vision. If you click on the drop down, you can see that there is a list of formats for you to choose from. Now if you don't see any formats that you like here, you can actually create your own. To do so, we just need to click on the ellipsis button to create one. Now that the dimensions formats dialog is showing, you can see how the format works. The list contains all the formats available to you. The buttons on the side allow you to create new formats, copy existing formats, edit non-standard formats, and delete non-standard formats. The text box, which is grayed out, shows us how the format is set up. It's grayed out because we aren't editing this one, which we can't because it's a standard format. Let's click on the new button to check out how to create our own format. Before we go any further, I want to talk about the formatting variables that we can use to create a format. You saw that the 332nd option had the value variable in it. Each variable must be contained in curly brackets for Cabinet Vision to convert it to the proper number. So let's start off with the value variable. Now we're going to work on the assumption that Cabinet Vision is displaying dimensions using the Imperial system. Also, we're going to be working with the example of 3 and 3 30 seconds of an inch. Now the value variable will display the value of a dimension formatted for the proper display format. For our example, this means that the value variable will display 3 and 3 30 seconds. Next we have the alt value variable. This will display the value of a dimension formatted for the alternate display format. For our example, this means that alt value will display 78. This is because the alternate display format is metric and 3 and 3 30 seconds in metric is 78 millimeters. Moving on, we come to the symbol variable. This variable will display the symbol that was set in the preferences dialog for the standard unit. For our example, this means that the symbol will display double quotes. Now it's going to do this because we're working in imperial units and I didn't change the symbol from the default value. Yes, that's right, you can specify your own symbol for imperial and metric units and we will be getting to that later. Since we have a value variable and an alt value variable, it only makes sense to give you an alt symbol variable. Again, because we're working in imperial units and I haven't changed the default symbol for metric units, this variable will display the MM symbol. Getting back to the dimension formats dialog, you can see that a new format was created. It shows the default value variable that we can use. Since this isn't a standard format, you can see that the edit and remove buttons are now enabled. Now that you know how the formats work, let's take a look at a sample dimension line that I drew using CAD. Now with this dimension, I wanted to show off a more complex dimension format. You can see that I made the line 120 inches long, and it's showing 120 inches and 3048 millimeters on the line. This format is set up as such. Value, Symbol, Open parentheses, Alt Value, alt symbol, close parentheses. Now let's say we were using metric for our unit display. It would be reversed, like this. Now it may not seem like we've talked about CAD a whole lot, but all of that was leading up to this. The two new auto text variables that we've added to Cabinet Vision. The first is dim. What this will do is allow you to edit the text of CAD elements and specify the dim value it will then be replaced in CAD with the dimensions of the element. The next is the system.time auto text variable. This will display the time that is kept on your computer. 
moving along, I want to show you the last feature that we added to CAD. To do this, we need to get to the CAD view. I don't have a button showing here for CAD, so I'm going to press the F7 key on my keyboard. Great. Now I can show off what we did with the cloud tool that we introduced recently. Let me just click on that tool, and now you can see the freehand option. This allows us to draw a cloud in a more free-flowing way, and I can try and explain what that means all day, but I think I'll just go ahead and show you. Now, the difference with what we just did and what we used to do is that the freehand option allows us to click once, then drag the mouse cursor around to create the cloud. As you saw, once the mouse cursor gets back to the start, the cloud is completed. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabin of Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabin of Vision website at www.cabinofvision.com.